Hi, this is Thomas Shepard, and this screencast is a part of the MCAS project at Athabasca University. In this tutorial, we're going to continue on with our Audacity project. First, we're going to teach you how to save your project. Then, we're going to cruise the web, find some music for our project to download and use, and then we're going to import that music into our project. So let's begin. First, to save your project, you need to go to File, Save Project As, and then what happens at Audacity gives you a little bit of a warning that it saves it as a .aup file, which is the default file for uh, Audacity projects. So we're going to click OK for that. Now, I've saved this previously as a uh, with the Titan uh, Audacity project, total original, of course. Now, um, what happens when you save your Audacity project is it creates a subfolder as well and puts all your data, like your tracks, audio tracks, into that. So uh, we're just going to save this, and if you've already saved it, it's going to come up back and ask you to replace it. You and if you do, it's going to replace the file you already have there. So let's go ahead and do that. Now we've got our project saved. So now we can move on and get some music in. I'm going to quickly bring up Firefox. And this website here that I have up is called Incompetech.com. It's a really good website to get some music uh, on uh, for your podcast. And it is Creative Commons license, which is great. And all I have to do is give the gentleman credit at the end of my podcast. And uh, it's free to use. So let's go in. And I've already selected a, in a section of Electronica. I'm browsing by genre or genre. Um, we're going to scroll down and we're going to find uh, the, the file that I really like, which is Rocket. You can actually, uh, the great thing about this site is sometimes you can get the show preview and you can play the file before you download it. Now, not too bad. I kind of like that one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to the download link. And I want to save it to a particular folder. So when I right click on the, the link, I'm going to go save link as. And that allows me to select it to put into a folder. So I've already got a folder called music in there, my, my project uh, folder. And I'm going to save that file there. So I've already got that done. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my Audacity and uh, project. And I'm going to import that audio. To import the audio is very easy. You got to go to file. You go to import, and what does it? It tells you, it gives you several uh, different options, and you just select audio. You go in, you pick your where your music is. I say open. It processes it, and then it pops it into a separate track. Now, I'm going to take this, and I'm going to create my music for my uh, project in it. You might want to notice as well when you scroll up and down that this is a fairly long track. We're not going to use all of it, but uh, when we import something, it just our view, and you'll notice it almost looks like it's zoomed right out on the uh, our tracks here. Let's just play this. It's going to be uh, kind of monotonous right now, but let's play it and see what it looks like. This podcast is a part of the MCAS pro So, uh, not too bad. I'm going to re rewind here to the beginning. Hi, this is Thomas Shepard, and this podcast is a part of the MCAS project at Athabasca University. In today's pod... Now, uh, that's not bad, right? We can hear my voice and we can hear the, the sound. But what I want to do is I want to apply some effects to this. So I'm going to save that for the next tutorial. And what I'm going to do in the next tutorial is I'm going to show you how to use that music, how to edit it, and how to add effects. Thank you for listening to this screencast and if you have any feedback for us please by all means contact us or leave a comment and uh, what we can do is we'll we'll try and uh, get some feedback and uh, adjust for according to the advice we get so if you're looking to get in contact with me uh, my email is tomshep t-o-m-s-h-e-p-p -P, at gmail.com thank you for listening and have a great day